Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to simulate a coaxial cable using ANSYS HFSS. To begin with the simulation, first let us create a new project by clicking on this new and insert a new HFSS design by clicking on this icon. Now we can see an editor window is open. Here we can draw the geometry. As we know, the coaxial cable will have an inner copper conductor. It is surrounded by a dielectric medium. On top of that, there will be again a conducting layer and finally it will have a protective shield. Now, in this project, we will create the inner copper conducting material, the dielectric which is used to separate the outer conductor and the inner conductor and the outer conducting material. So to begin with, let us first create a cylinder by clicking on draw cylinder. We can just drag and drop here the cylinder. You can see a cylinder is created. Now by clicking on create cylinder, we can give the physical dimensions of the cylinder. Let the center position be 0, 0, minus dollar L by 2. And here L is the length of the coaxial cable. In this experiment, I am giving length of the coaxial cable as 10 millimeters. Then select click OK. Here I am creating the inner conductor first. So to do that, let me just give the radius dollar D in. So for that what I can give here. So when I enter here it will ask for the value. So the inner conductor dia will be 0 0.46 millimeter. After that let us give the height of this particular coaxial cable which is nothing but the length of the coaxial cable and here we can give dollar L. You can see a cylinder is created with a length of 10 millimeters and a dia of 0 0.46 millimeters. This is our inner conducting copper material. Now let us create the dielectric material by making use of this first cylinder. Let us make two copies of this cylinder. I will just take control C and press ctrl V two times. So I got two copies here. So as we know the cylinder that what we have created is a inner copper conductor. So first we will double click here and we will rename it as inner conductor. We can assign material here with copper then we can give the color also. Apply, click OK. Now we can see the inner conductor is ready. The next thing is by utilizing the cylinder 2 and cylinder 3, we will create a dielectric material. So to do that, first let us open the cylinder 2 double click on this create cylinder and change this radius to D1. The moment you enter here, it will ask you for the unit type. You just make it as length and the value you can give it as 1.52 millimeters. Click OK. And then click apply and OK. You can see here and another cylinder is created with the diameter as 1.52 millimeter. Now, before we perform the Boolean operation to create a dielectric material, let us make two more copies of this cylinder 2. Press Ctrl C and two times Ctrl V. You got a copies cylinder 4 and cylinder 5. 
Now select cylinder 2 and cylinder 3, click on subtract, then click OK. Now we can see the dielectric material is created around the inner conductor. You can rename this cylinder 2 as dielectric now. and assign material as polyethylene. Select the color as some silver color, click OK. As a next step to create the outer conducting material, now select this cylinder 4 and double click on create cylinder. Change the radius to D out and the value for that D out will be 1.651 millimeters. Now you can click on OK. Then you select cylinder 4 and cylinder 5, click on subtract and click OK. Now we can see an outer conducting material is created. Let us assign the material properties for this by double clicking here, selecting material as copper and we will rename it as outer conductor. We can give the color and we can click OK. Now here we can see the inner conductor, outer conductor and the dielectric material all are created. As a next step, we will assign the boundary conditions and excitations to the geometries. Select the inner conductor, right click, go to assign boundary, select perfect electric. Click OK. Similarly, select the outer conductor, right click, select assign boundary and click on perfect electric, click OK. Next, right click somewhere on the screen, select the faces and click on the dielectric material. Right click and assign boundary as radiation, click OK. Now rotate this cylinder and get the bottom surface. Again, you select here the dielectric material and the inner copper conducting material. Right click, select assign excitation and click on wave port. Here, you click on next and select the integration line as a new line. Then, draw a line from the center of this inner conductor to the edge of the dielectric material. Click next and finish. Now we can see the excitation is created. We have the perfect electric boundary for the inner conductor perfect electric boundary for the outer conductor and we have a radiation to the top surface of the dielectric material. Now as a final step, let us create the analysis setup by clicking on analysis and add solution setup. Here this coaxial cable is designed for a broad band, so you can give the solution frequency somewhere around. 8 gigahertz and the number of passes we can give some 18 and click OK. And clicking on this setup one, right click, add frequency sweep from 1 gigahertz to 10 gigahertz and select here the discrete sweep type and then click on save all fields and here 
in the linear step place you select linear count and add some 30 sample points then click ok now we can validate this design we can see no errors are found then we can run the simulation by clicking on analyze all here let me just save this project as Quash trial. The simulation has started and the progress we can see in the bottom. Now to plot electric field, first select dielectric, right click, go to plot fields, select E and click on vector E. Click done. You can see here the electric field lines are plotted which are coming out from the copper conductor. It exhibits a divergent property. Similarly, to plot the magnetic field, again select dielectric, right click and you can see plot fields, select H and vector H. Click done. You can see here the magnetic field lines are circulating around the conductor. It exhibits a behavior of a curl. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.